Hey everyone, it's Sarah, and today I am back to talk about all of the fragrances that I wore last week. So I have a normal amount here today, and I'm gonna jump right in. Okay, so the first one we're going to talk about is this one here. This is a fragrance from Guerlain, and this is called Queer Beluga. A beautiful, beautiful friend of mine sent this to me a while back. I think she said this was her backup bottle of it. She said it was very difficult to let this one go, and I can completely understand. It is such a beautiful perfume. It's a kind of slightly sweet, but really smooth, really, really smooth vanilla fragrance. It does have, I think, like a suede or a leather note in it, but, and I'm not usually a huge fan of suede or leather or anything like that, but this one is, it doesn't smell like you know, and leather hide or anything. It's just really, really smooth and buttery smelling. It's gorgeous. It smells like a Guerlain fragrance. This thing is an absolute beast in the cold weather. It does wear quite close to the skin, so it's not gonna project a ton, but anybody that gets near you is gonna smell it. You're gonna smell it all day. It just is beautiful. It envelops you in this beautiful cloud. It's super warm. It's just perfect for this time of year. It's perfect. Such a stunning fragrance. So anyways, that is the first one. That is Guerlain Queer Beluga. And so the next one we're going to talk about is this one here. This is WDS002 FRV um, from Zara. A funny story about this. I thought I was spraying on my Musk 004 fragrance and I wasn't. I was spraying on this. This one, um, I feel like is more, this is de can definitely be worn any time of year. This is a really beautiful, um, it's like a molecule kind of smelling fragrance. It's something similar to not a perfume. Um, it's kind of like a slight woody, vetiver, fresh kind of fragrance. It's, but it's really cozy at the same time, but it's like a light wood kind of fragrance. Um, yeah, I was so confused. I thought that I had sprayed on um, my Musk 004, which is like this beautiful candied almond musk fragrance. And I was getting these like light woods notes and I was like, what did I do? And I realized I sprayed on the wrong perfume. Um, this is beautiful. This one doesn't last as long as the musk one, but I feel like because I wore it in cold weather. And for me, this is gonna be more of a warm weather fragrance, but I store them right next to each other. And so yeah, I just grabbed the wrong one, but this one didn't last very long. I think I got, I don't know, maybe four or so hours out of it. Um, super, super nice fragrance, but definitely the wrong time of year for this one. So anyways, that is WDS002 FRV from Zara. Okay, next I wore one of my favorites. This is a comfort fragrance for me. This is one of those perfumes that if I just don't know what to wear or I'm just not feeling even wearing a perfume or I just really want to be comforted all day long, this is what I will spray on. This is YSL Libre Intense. I love this perfume. This is the most beautiful, sweet, syrupy, orange blossom and lavender and vanilla fragrance. It's sweet, it's syrupy, it smells like the color of the liquid. It's just so rich and decadent smelling. It's such a beast. I overspray this one. You don't need to overspray it, but I overspray it so that I can just be in this rich cloud all day long. It's so just strong and sweet and gorgeous, and I adore it. I love it so much. It's one of my favorite perfumes of life. This is, hands down, would be like in a top five for life. I could not, I could not live without this perfume. I adore it. Thankfully, I've got a backup bottle of this one too, so. Anyways, that is YSL Libre Intense. Okay, next we have one of the fragrances that I took to Florida with me. Um, I don't know what possessed me to grab this one in particular, but I just saw it and I was like, you will be perfect. This is Philosophy Falling in Love. And oh, I love this perfume so much. This is like an old signature of mine. I wore this exclusively for like a year back in the really early 2000s. Um, this is the most beautiful berry perfume. It really does just smell like sweet, musky berries. It's stunning. This is the original formulation as well. Um, yeah, I can't remember how, somebody told me, somebody told me that what markings to look for to figure out which 
if it's the new formulation or the old one. Um, and I remember looking at mine and knowing that it was the old one because of the markings. Um, this thing is an absolute beast on me. The old formulation of this perfume will last all day. Uh, we left our hotel room. I wore this the day we went to Harry Potter and I sprayed this on at about eight o'clock in the morning and we didn't get back to our room until about seven o'clock at night and I still smelled like this. Even the next morning, um, I could still smell it like on my pajamas where it had transferred from me to my pajamas. I don't know if it's just me. I think it's just because this is the original formulation and the original formulations are just always so much better. Um, but for whatever reason, this just lasts forever on me. It's perfect. It was like 74 degrees the day that we went. So it was like a great, um, this is a really comforting, cozy scent for me, but it's still totally warm weather appropriate. So it was just a perfect choice. And I'm glad that I grabbed it and that this is what I took because it ended up being perfect. So anyways, that is philosophy falling in love. Okay, next I wore this one here. This is another one I took to Florida with me. This is Kaylee Utopia Vanilla Cocoa 21. Um, I love this. This is coconut and white flowers. It's more white flowers with like, with some coconut. I love it. It's so warm and beautiful and kind of a grown up smelling beachy fragrance. It's a coconut white floral that doesn't smell like suntan lotion and it smells a little bit more grown up than a lot of other beachy fragrances do. There's just something beautiful about it, but this just does not last on me at all. Um, I can only get a couple of hours out of it. So um, I wore this on one of our traveling days, so it wasn't that big of a deal. I was in the car all day anyways. I should have kept it on me so that I could have kept reapplying it, but I didn't. It wore off after a few hours and then I just basically didn't have any perfume on. Um, but I do love it. It's a beautiful, sweet, sweet, warm coconut and white floral fragrance. So anyways, that is Kaylee Utopia Vanilla Cocoa 21. Okay, next is the third fragrance that I took to Florida with me. I accidentally grabbed the wrong one. It was just one of those weeks where I was not wearing what I had intended to wear. So I wanted to wear the Riddle Oil that smells like coconut. I can't remember the name of it. Um, I am gonna find it and wear it because I still have not given that one a good full wear test and I need to. Um, but yeah, I meant to take that one to Florida with me because coconut, it was kind of warm down there. And I accidentally took Voyeur, <laughs> which is the, ugh, it's a beautiful vanilla one. I absolutely love this fragrance. This thing is a beast. And it reminds me a lot of, I think it's called Queer de Vigny from Yves Rocher. It smells very much like that. So next time I wear this, I'm gonna put this on first and then I'm gonna layer that fragrance over it because they're so, so similar. They're just beautiful, warm, rich, sugary vanilla but super grown up vanilla. It's not like, it's a really, really unique vanilla Oh, it's there's it's just so good. It's just so good. I it's almost hard to explain because I haven't smelled I've only the only other fragrance I've ever smelled that smells somewhat like it is the Yves Rocher fragrance, which doesn't last that long. This thing is an absolute beast. I mean, you're going to get 8 10 hours out of this easily. It's stunning. So um, anyways, that is Riddle Voyeur. And then I also wore my Riddle Original Oil. I love this fragrance. Gosh, it is the most beautiful, warm skin musk and white amber perfume. It's stunning. It's just beautiful. It's clean. It's perfect for every day. Um, and I wore this because I wanted to test my... Uh, the body products that they sent over. So they sent over this, this is the scented body oil. And these products, you guys are gorgeous. I'm gonna just put a little, so you can see my hands are actually really dry because I've had to wash them a lot today. Um, so I'm gonna put just a little bit. And also I love these, the packaging. These are glass bottles. And the glass bottle with that's white with black writing is just beautiful. Oh, look at this product, you guys. Look 
Look at how beautiful and moisturizing that is. I put a whole ton on my hand. I put way, way too much on my hand. So it does sink into your skin really nicely. I'll show you like on my wrist here. I'll bring it down so you can see it sinks in really, really nicely. I just put way too much just on my hand. It's such a beautiful product. Ugh. I mean, look at the difference. So, so nice. And it smells divine. Oh gosh. I can only imagine these products in the voyeur scent. That warm, rich vanilla scent is probably incredible. Ugh, I am obsessed with these oils, you guys. They're so good. These Riddle oils are so, so good because they last so long. They're such intense fragrances. Ugh, and this, these are just perfect to layer my oil over. Okay, and then they also sent over this. This is the original scented body spray lotion. And again, with the glass bottle, I love the white. This one is called Milky. And this one is called, I think, Bougie. But yeah, again, I'll show you. This is so nice. This is like a spray lotion. So you guys can see that's kind of how it comes out. And then you just work it in. Oh my gosh, so nice, so nice. Ah, uh, they just smell so amazing. I love, love, love the original scent so much. But yeah, so you can see that's the body oil and that's the sp uh, spray lotion. They're just such nice products. So yeah, I did want to give you a little update on um, the oil and the spray lotion because I said I would and they're amazing as I knew that they would be. Okay, and then last but not least, I wore this one here. This is Pumpkin Tobacco from CJ Scents. This is a fragrance that I've been reaching for this and Boo all season long. Um, they're, they're just amazing. They smell like fall in a bottle to me. This is like a sweet spiced pumpkin with a light tobacco note in the background. But mostly just this warm, sweet, spiced pumpkin. I love it. I love it so much. I'm going to be doing a Thanksgiving perfume video that I will upload on Thanksgiving and you guys will definitely see this because it smells like Thanksgiving in a bottle. It's amazing. So anyways, that is CJ Scents Pumpkin Tobacco. And that is gonna be it, guys. Those are all of the fragrances that I wore last week. I do hope that you enjoyed this. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave and I will see you in my next one. Bye.